timer has started. It looks like everyone is ready. All right, we'll use the timer to uh, count down. While the timer's counting down, we'll use this time to call it the tanks. Uh, NFTG is coming out with two Object 140s, a Bat Chat, two IS-7s, and two Chieftains. Phoenix coming out with three Bat Chats, two IS-7s, and two 50Bs. Uh, both of these very strong teams, uh, both did really well in the first operation. Um, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix was first on the, uh, in yesterday's outing for the, uh, they are the axes, yes, they're the axes. Phoenix was first place, had the, had the best showing out of all the axes teams yesterday. They were the only axes team to go, uh, eight and O for their rounds. Uh, Phoenix, uh, NFTG split their rounds four and four. So NFTG looking to make sure they get enough points to tip them over the edge and, and get them in the next week. All right, 10 seconds to launch. And here we go. Allies on the left in the red, NFTG representing them. Phoenix on the right in blue representing the Axis forces. Right off the bat, NFTG is moving along the south, along the JH lines. They're going towards Cap. Phoenix has set up one of their bat chats for a uh, flanking spotting position, um, countering Nate Master uh, is doing the same thing for NFTG. They're both just sitting there making sure no no opponents are flanking in around the rear. Phoenix taking the top A7 approach towards the cap. You get down into the low ground. Uh, from over here and it's a tough shot to hit you and they're they can creep towards the cap if need be taking the cap on this map is usually not a very successful tactic uh, but you can't ignore yeah. you can't ignore it you have to be close enough to it that you know if the other team is there it's it's very easy to uh, stop the the cap if the other team tries to get it but nevertheless Both teams inching forward, just trying to get a feel for where the other team has set up. The bat chats on the outside, just trying to detect each other. Most, most of the tanks are staying undetected. It's kind of like they're playing in the dark with each other. Nobody knows, you know, Hulk, Hulk got detected there for moment but he went undetected shortly after it's hard to keep both teams in my render range here because as I move over one gets detected and the other one loses 
big pan around to give you an idea of how they're situated over this cap. There's hill, hill cover for both sides. So you gotta wait like that. Nice shot by Cryptix on the sniffer wagon. As sniffer wagon peaked up a little bit too far, Cryptix found a nice a nice lane to get a shot in on him. Sniffer Wagon, the only tank for NFTG that has lost health. Uh, Hulk, the only t tank for Phoenix that has lost health. NFTG Sniff Wagon has lost a little bit more. Uh, but basically, we're looking at an equal stalemate right now. Might see something happen here by the bat chats. I honestly think the first move is going to be on a flank as opposed to the head on push. Super Fen Fenrir is Fenrir, however that is pronounced. I am sorry, I apologize. He looks like he will be the one to uh, make the first move. He's inching forward here. He's going real wide now. Doubling back. Nate doesn't see him. Super doesn't see Nate. They're just kind of driving around. You look, Nate's positioned backwards, so as soon as he does get detected, he's just gonna put it in the full. He's first, ready. Yeah, he's gonna put it full throttle. He's gonna run. Someone shooting AG. <laughs> I see someone hit someone for 46. Well, the, the simple fact that only. Yeah, Hulk's been hit twice and he's only down that much health. And a broken uh, gun now. And a broken gun. That, uh. That kind of says to me, I didn't see any of the shots, but that, that kind of looks like HE amount damage. Yeah, one hit was for 46, and I didn't see the first one. Would have been roughly the same, given how much health he's actually lost. Yeah. You barely see that he's been hit, period. Sniffer Wagon, still the only tank for uh, NFTG that has lost any health. Both teams playing cautiously, defensively. There's th only three minutes and 20 seconds left, and we still have 96% to 98%. One of these teams has got to make a move, otherwise it's going to be a very low-scoring game for them. Nate's still sitting in position. Right now, I mean, like I said yesterday, Phoenix did have a perfect, a perfect day. Uh, they, they, I don't know how they did in their uh, their first match today, but I mean, if they if they did well in their first match today, they really don't need any points. It's NFTG that needs to claim these points, um, especially if they didn't have a perfect series in their first game today as well, because NFTG was sitting, um, they're sitting on the. Right. I got tanks moving.
Phoenix moving in with their bat chats. I knew the push would come from the outside first, uh, as opposed to the front on. Sandhog got hit there. Here it goes. Tweaky's being focused on by NFTG. But the bat chats are coming in on the rear of NFTG. Sniff my wagon gets focused out by the bat chats. Sandhog looks like the next victim. He gets ammo racked. One more shot should take him down. There it is. And Adrian goes on the reload after finishing off Sandhog. NFTG's got an oh. overextended push over here. Phoenix has absorbed it and. Although Christopher's on the reload here, he's in trouble. Hulk, Hulkhound's got free uh, rear shots on both of those IS-7s. In comes incisive motion to try and uh, put, put put some distraction in because he's not even loaded himself. Down goes Strong and Phoenix taking a command of this battle late. At the three minute marker, we still had near perfect health for both teams. Mm. And then in a matter of two and a half minutes, Phoenix was able to uh, finish the round off with a near flawless victory, one point short. Yeah, they uh, really waited. Phoenix is really showing why. Uh, so far, as far as I'm aware, so far this in this event, the only team that has denied them a perfect series was Fame. Uh, and they took it to Fame as well. Uh, fame was, I think that, I think it went 2-1-1 one, and one against Fame. Two wins for Fame, one win for Phoenix, and a draw, if I believe. But the draw was, was Phoenix's. Uh, it just happened to be that Phoenix ran, or sorry, Fame had run away with that one last tank left alive. Oh. Are you doing a giveaway? Yes, I almost missed it. Thank you. Um, and I'm doing the score. So Phoenix got 40 points out of that, and NFTG got two for their single kill. Uh, Cryptix uh, leading his team with 3865 damage. Adrian and Christopher getting 2,000 each over on NFTG's side. Brickwall getting just shy of 3,000, and Locked Hornet getting just over 2,000. 2, All right, this is round two of Phoenix versus NFTG. Phoenix representing the Axis forces. They're in red with three bat chats two IS-7s, and two AMX-50Bs. NFTG representing the Allied forces on the right side here in the blue. They're coming out with three Object 140s and four Bat Chats. A very speedy... Uh, whoop, wrong. There we go. A very speedy lineup for NFTG. It makes you wonder what they're going to do with all that speed. Nate taking the same position Phoenix did with their bat chat. It's, a, it's generally a good spot to put your one of your mediums with good view range so that you can't get flanked quickly uh, if, if Nate was to detect a flank coming in on him, he'd have enough speed to retreat see that Phoenix has put their bad chat in a in a very similar position to what NFTG had done when they were on this side uh, on a map like steps you really want to have someone scouting your flank mm -hmm. NFTG playing the north side differently than Phoenix we saw Phoenix play they're taking Various positions behind the rocks and the ridges here. It almost seems like they're just getting ready to just run down the middle. Just, you know, evaluating it. Sniff 
my wagon detects Super, but does not get detected himself. Super's got to retreat there into the trench and slink away without getting shot. He does get away, it looks. So sniff my wagon. Excellent job moving through the trench there, getting the spot on oh, yeah. uh, the batch hat and making him push off. Now he's claimed the center territory. Very subtle move he just did there, but by getting the spot and not getting detected, he was able to uh, force back Phoenix's scout. Phoenix taking their bat chats undetected into the group there of heavies. He does get he does get detected again by Sniff My Wagon. He's he must have uh, all a his super few range crew. perks. Yeah, with a super crew in that thing, because he is detecting those tanks undetected. So his camo and his view range must be uh, unreal. Rest of NFTG still sitting here. Uh, now that now that Sniff My Wagon has found that. Phoenix has cycled. They've rotated around. It looks like the rest of the mediums are going to follow and meet up with NFTG, or meet up with Sniff My Wagon. Although Phoenix hasn't touched the cap yet, you can see they completely surround it. Oh, there, yep. It's not really news to them that he's there, though. I'm sure they were aware that he had to have been moving all the way around. Two of the bat chats. I would, I would have really thought it was a bat chat going down the middle that would be spotting me. That's kind of... I wouldn't expect the 140 to have pushed well, that far. At, at this point, the bat chats and the other 140 have been detected as well, so Phoenix knows they're all there, and, I'm, and they, wouldn't have, they wouldn't be able to know which one it was that was detecting them first, because now that they're all there, it could have been any of them, really. Motion. Retreating here. He's got a big wolf pack coming after him. Let's go back. Let's get this wolf pack in frame. Moving in on Phoenix here, but Phoenix has rotated back. They've got their 50 Bs given support. Nate Mas Nate Dish Master, I don't, I don't even know how his name's pronounced. He's getting focused. Locked Hornet gets focused. Oh, and a turret goes flying. Brick Wall goes down. Locked Hornet goes down. Nate's trying to get away he goes down he oh. almost got the kill shot on super that was unfortunate he didn't get the kill so now phoenix is sitting with a three gun advantage and super the only tank really on a one shot i guess motion's pretty close to a one shot as well phoenix getting extremely aggressive they're coming in even with super's coming in even with a one shot NFTG down to three tanks. They take out Adrian. Right now, NFTG is going to want to clean up those one-shot tanks and get the points for them. Santog should, sh should be able to get one of those two. Oh, no. He goes down. Phoenix focuses him out and takes him down before he's able to take out Super, but... I see dead ants takes out super for him. And FTG can still take out motion. You know, as we saw in the last game, you know, bat jets, they can run and, and they might be able to pick them off one by one. Yeah, that was an amazing game watching uh, SVG versus um, BP and the, the bat chat stretching that game to the very end. 1v3, and he took it to the limit. 
Down goes dead ants. And Stronk is the last one. Christopher's cutting him off. And he gets the shot oh. on him. All right. So, Phoenix getting the round victory for 20 points, 14 for killing them all. That's 34, and an extra 5 to make 39 for having 5 survived tanks. NFTG getting 4 points for killing 2 tanks. Uh, running through the damage quickly, we've got... Um, 2600 by Cryptix in the IS-7, 2300 by Motion in the Bat Chat, and the rest of the damage spread pretty equally amongst them. Stronk on the NFTG side, breaking 3400 damage, uh, really carrying the, the workload there damage-wise, and no one else breaking even 2000. We're just loading into round three. NFTG versus Phoenix. Phoenix has come out and taken both rounds so far. NFTG on the left in red representing the allied forces. Uh, we were just, you just had comment the, uh, commented on the tank selection. They've got a 430 and six 140s. So, so much Russian speed there. Uh, Phoenix, representing the Axis forces on the right in blue, coming out with three Bat Chats, two IS-7s, and two 50Bs. So, first fire versus DPM. quite the uh, tank selection. <laughs> NFTG moving to the ridge rock line here with the bush cover. Phoenix sending their single bat chat to do the flank scout, but nothing's come that way. I, I'm actually surprised. Three rounds in a row, we haven't seen anybody use the 1-2 line. Um, and it's not used frequently, but usually you see at least one one round where uh, you get a one-two line quick push. And especially with seeing seven Russian mediums, I thought maybe this was the, the round they were doing it. It would have kind of been an obvious tactic, though, with that lineup. So I see dead ants somehow detected by Joe Hunter. Both teams grabbing some early territory, but keeping their distance. Everyone's out of view range from each other. Just a couple random spots here and there. I really like NFTG's fire line they have set up here. Too much action happening yet. Like you say, they've got that fire line set up. They've got the, the three in the back and sniff my wagon with his super crew right up front. He's hiding real nicely in that in that bush with a rock for cover and the trench for an escape route. Three of the object 140s are moving around over here, though. They're coming in for that flank. Motion had peeled off a little bit. He didn't expect anything, so he moved and repositioned. Uh, he was no longer... He was sitting over here on the rock to get the early spot on this attempt. 
So I guess NFTG's tactic was to uh, not push the 1-2 line right away and then kind of wait once they figured the high alert guard on the 1-2 line was down. They sent three mediums around. Strong got detected. And Nate puts a nice shot into Adrian. Sniff My Wagon's moved up to the middle here. And he's going to try and get the, the spot on the Phoenix tanks so that uh, Nate Strunk and the other 140, I didn't quite catch Nate, Rick, can get shots undetected. Phoenix ringing the dinner bell at the same time, though. Cap Circle is counting down. To Hunter detected and way to detected over here. Joe Hunter is going to get jumped by a couple of mediums if he's not careful. Um, Hulk trying to give support fire for his retreat. So both teams kind of inching forward, retreating, inching forward, retreating. And not much damage has been dealt. Cryptic's the only one to get hit until now. Way too got hit in the back here. Hulk must have hit him as I panned away. Cap pressure down to a minute. Half half the cap timer is in push, but it's not a big deal. I'm sure NFTG is going to squish in uh, on the cap pressure very soon. No, they even they get off. They didn't even stay on the cap. Yeah, I'm sure they want to get as many points as they can. Phoenix staying ahead in the damage. NFTG pulling it back and evening it up. You see Crossfire coming in. They're focus firing. Ooh. They focus fire Joe Hunter. Uh, even the even the tanks on the far flank focused over on Joe Hunter. Took him down first. Uh, now you've got. Insif insisive motion getting focus fired. He goes down. Tweaky pushing in on a dead ants. Dead ants is going to get Ooh, focused yeah. and clipped out by Tweaky and Christopher. It's a 3 3 game. Very close damage. Adrian goes down. NFTG coming in full speed to clash with the final three Phoenix tanks, but they, other than Christopher, the other two are very healthy. They're going to focus Christopher first and take him Ooh. down, but now Nate is in a bad spot. He goes down. 3v2. Tweaky not done his reload yet. Now he is. He's going to get focused before he can do anything but take out Strong. And 2v1. This has been a... a Tight battle. NFTG has stayed ahead all the way through, but Phoenix is not letting them get any farther ahead. I just don't think Hulk has anything he can do against two Russian mediums that are just going to DPM him hard here. Yeah. Uh, especially with Brick Wall parked right behind him. Yeah. So, NFTG winning the round for 20 points, 14 for killing all the tanks, and an extra two for two survived tanks. They get 36 points for that round. Uh, Phoenix had killed five tanks. That's worth 10 points for that round. Those, those Russian mediums with speed and high DPM, they had two of them break 3,000 damage. Nate and Brick Wall sniff for wagon getting 2,200. The Phoenix side had three tanks breaking 2,000 damage, Cryptix, Hulk, and Tweak, but not a whole lot of damage from the remainder of the tanks. So 
Here Ten we go. Seconds. Round four. Quickly calling out. Phoenix is coming out with two bat chats, two IS sevens, three fifty Bs, and NFTG. This is an easy one. Seven object or sorry, six object one forties and an object four thirty. I almost missed the fact that one of them was different. <laughs> I actually didn't notice that until you said it the last match. I thought they were all 140s. They're virtually the same tank. They're just just, a, just slightly, uh, slightly different. One has an extra gun de uh, degree of gun depression. The other one has like a very slight faster reload. The Object 430 has a slightly faster reload, uh, but. I believe the 140 has a degree of gun depression more and a slightly faster rotating track. Everyone's going to jump on me and say, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, your numbers are... I know the one, the 430 has the edge on reload because that's my favorite one. The 430 is your favorite one? Correct. I know the 140 is the more rounded one. one for, and which is why it's comp... Uh, you know, seems to be more preferred for comps, but I like the 430 because it's got the edge on the DPM very slightly anyway. But Phoenix representing the Axis forces on the left coming in hard here with their 50 Bs and FTG representing the Allied forces. Sniff my wagon. What? Ooh. He his super crew didn't. Uh... They're on lunch. No. Yeah. Oh no. He tried to move up to that rock. Now that's a that's a great spot to be if you get there undetected, and I'm sure he does very often. Uh, but he made a gamble there and got detected. As soon as he was detected, it's a very scary spot to be crossing that field, and he's not going to be able to get out of that position. Gonna hunker Ooh, down as hard as he can. They really, they really caught on that someone's always going down the middle. I don't know if NFTG is gonna be able to rescue. They, they've got a very tough task on their hand to rescue Sniff. He might just have to hunker down and, and stay there, see how this battle plays out. Both teams gaining a lot of territory here in the center of the map here. Both moving up farther and faster than we've seen in any of the previous three rounds. Yep. I see Dead Ants gets tracked sideways. He repairs it to get out of there. He couldn't afford to stay tracked where he was. Incessive motion moving in on Sniff My Wagon. He, Sniff bounces the first shot, but gets taken down with the second shot. He's the first tank to go down. I see Dead Ants is pretty close to being the second one. He's got to get back behind cover before somebody puts a shot into him. He gets picked off by Agent in the bat chat. Phoenix pushing forward, pushing NFTG back. Uh, they've lost two tanks, but the rest of their tanks are very healthy. So if NFTG can pull aside one of one or two of these tanks and single them out, they can quickly, quickly even it up. They've got to get out of this position, though. They're on the run. <laughs> and nice bounce oh, by way. Yeah. <laughs> you put that shot right up into my camera and straight through the screen. That's awesome. NFTG, I'm not sure. They're just touching the cap or... Yeah, see, this is what they need to do. They got to... NFTG's got to get the distance on them. They've got to get the free shots undetected from the long range.
Right now, Phoenix has just too much control. They have territory, they have health, and they have guns. Uh, but if NFTG can use the view range and the speed to out out maneuver and out detect, they they can put some shots in the Hulk and Cryptics that are out on the edge of the ridge here. One minute on that cap counter. I don't think Phoenix is going to take it by cap, but with how well they've done all weekend, I'm pretty confident that they're pretty confident they have enough points to make it through. <laughs> As I said, yesterday was a perfect day. I don't know how they did this morning in, or this earlier this afternoon in their first matchup, but uh, winning two out of three so far against NFTG um the outcome of this final round is probably irrelevant for their their standings 20 seconds on the cap timer nftg is pushing in fine they're looking for anything they can get a kill on for an extra two points they do take out motion and phoenix jumps off the cap so the gun advantage hasn't changed. Each team lost a tank in that push that NFTG just did. But the health spread has widened huge. Brick wall goes down. So does Locked Hornet. And there's only two NFTG <laughs> Russian mediums remaining. They're lucky they can focus fire one of these tanks as they come towards them and get an get one extra oh. kill to finish this but phoenix moving in <laughs> oh he's not going to get the final shot on agent he goes down it is always so sad to see someone catch on fire phoenix getting the 20 points for the win 14 for the kills and six for six surviving tanks getting a 40 point round oh. nftg only getting one kill that's worth two points giving the totals for the score of this series bum, bum, bum. As 129 points for uh, Phoenix and 44 points for an FTG. Uh, in this battle here, we had Cryptix leading the Phoenix team with 3,200 damage, and Sis, Sis of Motion getting 3,100 in his bat chat, so just slightly behind him. Uh, the rest of the team uh, getting in around thousand up to two thousand by adrian uh, nftg only having one tank break a thousand damage and that was nate in his object 140 surprise surprise everyone was in an object 140 but brick uh he got 2777 damage uh so somehow only only one of those objects getting getting damage it's surprising this, that it wasn't you know, spread a little more evenly uh, so great battle between these two, uh, and I guess I should have made the disclaimer about the points. I am not official C-Dub point score tallier. I just tally them up while I'm doing the stream so that I can announce what I've seen for viewers. Uh, I, I, I make mistakes. I'm just doing it quickly on paper, uh, so it's not official. 129 points for Phoenix and 44 for NFTG. So now... We're going to do, I'm going to do the rest of the giveaways uh, as the stream is ending and catching up to live. Um, and, and yeah, but that was the last battle of the day.